Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back with another Fortnite video and in today's video I want to be talking about linear and exponential settings and which ones are the best to use here in this current season So I want to talk about all the advantages and disadvantages of both So if you guys are interested in hearing what those are definitely stay to the end of the video and real quick, before we get into the video, I have a V-Buck giveaway. I bought a ton of these V-Buck cards for you guys to have. If you guys would like to receive a card and enter the giveaway, all you guys have to do is simply drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell and drop a comment down below of either your Xbox gamer tag PSN Gamer Tag or Epic account. I will be giving out one of these cards every single Friday. I will share the screenshot of the winner in the video. So make sure you guys stay updated if you are interested in winning free V-Bucks. And lastly, if you guys want to support me in the item shop, just go down to the bottom right, hit on support a creator, type in creator code Young Humor, and you guys will have me supported in the item shop as a creator. And alright, guys, let's get right to the video. All right, so in this video, I want to be talking about linear versus exponential settings and which are just the best to use overall for this season. This isn't going to be like a sensitivity guide or anything like that. I have a ton of other videos covering the best sensitivities to use, but I'm just going to be showing linear versus exponential and the advantages and disadvantages of both. So the first one that I want to talk about is going to be a linear settings. And I want to talk about the advantages of linear. So linear does have a lot of advantages and it is the most popular option of this season currently by a lot of really good players and pro players alike. So linear is a great option to have for, I would say, most players. So one of the biggest advantages that you're going to have on linear as opposed to exponential is you're going to have a linear stick input meaning that no matter if you move just a little bit on your analog stick or if you move it really far you're going to have the exact same speed there's not going to be any ramp up time or delay meaning that it does feel incredibly smooth to play on when it comes to building and editing in fortnite so that's one of the biggest advantages of linear settings it just feels substantially better to build and edit on which if you want to be a really great player in this game Building and editing is just one of the things that you have to master and improve on, and it's really going to set you apart from a lot of other players. So linear settings really just feel so much better to play on than exponential in this category. So I would say the biggest advantage is going to be your building and editing. Another advantage is flick shots do feel really good as well, because you still, even though you have a linear input, you still have aim assist which is going to allow you to have that smooth feeling when it comes to your flick shots and consistency, but you also have a little bit of aim assist to help you hit that shot as well, so it doesn't feel like it's a big drawback as opposed to exponential. So flick shots, I think, are a big plus as well, and then you just have the overall consistency because on linear, your input is exactly the same. There's no type of uh, ramp up or delay meaning that your muscle memory I think is going to get a little bit I think it's easier to learn a linear sensitivity than an exponential one just because of the way the input is it just helps you get a lot more muscle memory learning that new sensitivity but now talking about the disadvantages of linear there really is only one disadvantage and that's going to be able to hit those long range shots with your assault rifle or even sometimes mid-range because on linear you don't have any slowdown meaning that when it comes to hitting long range shots it's very difficult to properly line up your shot because you're gonna overcorrect a lot of the times just because it's hard to make those small analog stick adjustments from range and the further you are back the worse it gets so that really is just the biggest disadvantage overall for linear is it's going to be much more difficult to hit these long range shots over exponential but you can still hit them with enough practice and consistency and if you play on a low enough sensitivity so that's why on linear you would typically play on a low sensitivity anywhere from like 9 to 10 percent so you at least have a chance to hit those long range shots but increasing your look dampening time is also another great setting that you can apply that will allow you to hit these long range shots significantly easier the only drawback of having a look dampening time on is you don't really get a true linear feel when you have this setting on but it will allow you allow it and make you hit those long range shots 
with much more consistency with a look dampening time on than with it off. So that is something to consider if you are on linear to help mitigate the disadvantages of linear. So look damping time is a great setting to try out. Next, I want to be talking about exponential and the advantages and disadvantages of exponential. So one of the biggest advantages of exponential and a great, great reason to use the sensitivity setting is because it allows you to hit those long range shots and medium range shots with a lot more precision as opposed to linear just because of the way the input actually works. And the way it works, if you guys aren't exactly sure, it's just me. So on linear, it's the exact same speed no matter if you have your analog stick over just slightly or if you have it all the way over but on exponential the further you move out your analog stick the faster your character is going to turn meaning that if you just slightly move your analog stick it's going to have a really big slowdown which is just a lot easier to hit long range and medium shots on and as you can see it's just way more accurate than linear settings so that is one of the biggest advantages of playing on exponential but one of the drawbacks is it's just not as good to build and edit on it feels really clunky and just doesn't feel very good to play on once you play on linear for a little bit or if you just play with it for like 10 minutes and try to go back you guys know will know exactly what i'm talking about so exponential with enough practice you can definitely make it work it's just not as good as linear to play on and another thing is flick shots do feel okay they don't feel bad at all i think in my personal opinion i think they're better on linear but they're really not significantly worse or better when it comes to the flick shooting so one thing i did find i did find that when i was sliding and shooting i felt way more accurate on exponential that's just one thing that just it felt way better for me to do so that is something to consider as well but that's pretty much going to be it as far as the advantages and disadvantages of each setting. Of course, I don't have enough time to cover every single scenario in which it's better or worse, but just my overall conclusions on what I think you guys should play on if you want to choose between linear and exponential. So I think linear is going to be the better choice for most players. If you're the player type of player who is pretty competitive, you play a lot of arena, or if you're just a pub stomper or whatever the case may be, if you want to improve your building and editing at any capacity, linear is going to be the better choice. But where I think that exponential shines and is a lot better for some players is if you're the type of like really casual player to play some of the no build game modes i think that exponential is going to be much better for those modes because it's just re strictly relying on aiming they don't have any type of building or editing and which i don't find it to be very good to play on so i think exponential is really great for the casual player who plays on no builds and uh no editing that way, when it comes to strictly aim, I do think that exponential has the upper hand over linear. So those are just all of my thoughts and recommendations for exponential and linear settings. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified for every single new video. And with that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. And alright guys, I will see you in the next video.